All right, joining us for the latest edition of Hashtag The Off Air Show, hell yeah, it is Jimmy Stewart, the executive producer of Felgrim S, to give us a WrestleMania 32 preview. Jay Stu, have at it. And you're going to be in attendance in Dallas. Yeah, I fly down Saturday, going to Access and on Saturday night, amongst other things, going to a Terry Funk barbecue for pregame across the street from uh, Jerry Dome, and then the show is at 5 o'clock on uh, Sunday night, and we're looking forward to it. Will I'm Terry... Will Terry Funk be there and he's going to be cooking? Is Terry Funk even still alive? He is still alive. At least that's what I'm told he's still <laughs> okay. alive. But he'll uh, he'll be there live and in person, and I'm pretty excited about it. Terry Funk's one of my all-time favorites. Yeah, Funk you. So as far as the card is concerned on Sunday evening, uh, someone like me who just knows at this point a little bit about wrestling, they're only paying attention here and there, and really they're only tuning in to watch Paige. Uh, what are the matches that we should be uh, on the uh, on the lookout for? And what do you think is going to be the highlight of WrestleMania 32? So I think uh, top to bottom, it's a good card. The build has been kind of iffy, and there are some logic holes everywhere. But here's what I'm looking for. Shane versus Undertaker to go on last. And they really have a chance to make an impact and maybe create some new stars. I would have Shane win. I would create a new group. The artist formerly known as the Bullet Club should come in as the Balor Club. Uh... And that's a way you can have Shane beat The Undertaker. That should go on last. Triple H, I'm in the camp that Triple H should retain over Roman Reigns because I think that they have a ton of good guys coming back and Triple H can just work with them all and you can have another example of the US Open Challenge that John Cena had last year after WrestleMania. If you're gonna have Roman Reigns win, he should turn on The Rock, on Dean Ambrose, and let the fans in Dallas who are gonna boo him Boo him louder and give him a reason to. And then you can have Roman Reigns run off as a heel. And who knows, maybe a few with Seth Rollins. Maybe Seth Rollins is coming back. Who knows? The match that I am most looking forward to, if you're a fan of 80s wrestling, is the Divas match. Sasha Banks should go over. Charlotte and Becky Lynch have been telling a great story the last two to three months. That's a match I'm most looking forward to. WrestleMania top to bottom should be good if they want to pull a real rabbit out of the hat have hulk hogan as a surprise entrant into the battle royal and have him win the thing oh that'd be awesome that would be great now would blow off the hundred and twenty thousand that they'll probably announce for attendance there at jerry dome and that's what they should do well enjoy J uh, dallas jay Stu. and uh, for those that may not be following just yet i'm sure you'll be tweeting all weekend long where can they find you sarge and i are going to be there so sarge 985 <laughs> i am james stewart on Twitter, and we'll have some videos, we'll have some photos, we'll have a lot of fisting. We'll just, we'll go to town and we'll try to dig in as deep as we can into the WrestleMania coverage in Dallas. Awesome. Thanks, Jay Stu. 